All right, Joe, uh, let's look at some of the uh, odds now. Uh, AL odds first to uh, win the pennant. Uh, you see, I, I noticed today uh, I saw some power rankings, various outlets. The Yankees are back on top of baseball, apparently, or so they think, the people that know. Do you agree with these pennant odds? I do. I'm a little – I'd be worried if I was holding an Orioles ticket uh, right now, Scotty, because I, I, I think those injuries and that lack of a starting pitching staff is going to come back to haunt them. Uh, but I do agree that the Yankees, at this point, from what we've seen, especially since the All-Star break, they should be the favorites. I think the Guardians are running out of steam. And once again, the only team that you got to worry about, as far as I'm concerned, is the Astros. Here they go again. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I've been on the Astros to win that West, and their lead's up to four and a half. And then as far as, um, you know, frankly, the, the wild cards of teams that I wouldn't want to play, <laughs> Kansas City would be one of them with your boy Bobby Witt Jr. And they're pitching. Kids on, I mean, if it wasn't for Judge and Otani, we'd be talking a lot about Bobby Witt Jr. He's hitting 350. He's going to have 30 home runs. He's going to steal 30 bases. I mean, this kid is an old school baseball player. Got to, they don't make him like Bobby Witt Jr. anymore. It's kind of refreshing to see. It really is. All right, let's look at the National League pennant odds. A lot of people thought it was automatically uh, the Dodgers. Then everybody said, oh, look at the Phillies, how good they are. Now it's the Phillies. Now we're back to the Dodgers who have the best record in the National League. This is where the money's at, Scotty, because anyone except for the Braves on that list there, Padres, uh, Brewers, Diamondbacks, all of these, that's where the money's at, I think. I think it's going to be very chalky in the American League. Uh, listen, would you be shocked if the Diamondbacks are going back to the World Series? Because I sure as heck wouldn't at this point. No, I wouldn't. And I'll tell you another thing. Uh, that Padre team with their bullpen Woo! and with their bats and with their defense, uh, they mean business. And they have been winning as much as Arizona has. Those two teams, yep. I don't want to uh, be a part of facing either one of them. Yep. Yeah, and Tatis is coming back. So now they're getting another bat coming back, and Darvish is throwing. It's, you know, that's a very, very scary team. That and Arizona, I wouldn't automatically think just hand it to the Dodgers. I'm not buying that, Scotty. All right, let's look at the World Series odds now. These are the latest odds for the World Series. Look at that. Ooh. Still, look at they're putting both of those NL teams in front of the Yankees. Yeah, I'm not buying. Uh, yeah, not now, not gonna happen. I think the Phillies are running out of gas. I do think also. Uh, I think the American League wins it, Scotty. But I do think once again the money is gonna come from the National League. If you think the Padres, of Arizona are dark horses, there you go. That's a pretty decent price for a World Series. That what with three weeks left in the regular season, that's a pretty good number. How about like last year when it was the Diamondbacks and Rangers and, and yep. the prices that you got on those teams? No one thought either <laughs> one of them would be there. Why not the yep. same thing again here with these types of odds? You can make a fortune. Yep. I think American League will ultimately be chalky, but I think your National League rep in the World Series is where the money's at because I don't think the top half of that board, the Phillies, the Dodgers, I'm not buying them to be able to sweep and head to the World Series. All right, so that was the odds for the World Series. What about the World Series betting? These are uh, most bet teams to win the series uh, right here. Uh, what do you think? Phillies, Dodgers again on top. Yankees at 10% roughly. Uh, look at the Padres at 7. D-backs at 5. Look at the Astros and Guardians, even the Royals. Yeah, again, a lot of money. Look at the Yankees. They're not at the top of the board. The Phillies and the Dodgers are. And that was, I think, because of the Phillies start to the season, Scotty, in the first half with how they were just bulldozing everyone. They've come back down to reality. The Dodgers are always overvalued. But is the third the third most bet, the Yankees? It's yeah, that, that would be my first choice, followed by either the Padres or the Diamondbacks. All right, let's go to uh, tonight's action under the lights across the majors. We'll start with the uh, Cubs and Pirates at PNC. A good one, Jamison shots of Tyone against Helen Keller uh, at, mm. the, uh, you know, at the Allegheny River there at PNC. Great matchup, I think, tonight between these two good pitchers. 
Yeah, and I like uh, I like Keller a lot, uh, Scotty. I think he he started slow this year. He's come around, and the Pirates are still a little feisty, aren't they? Uh, I think there's also going to be some runs in this game. So I did look at the over in this one, Scotty. Uh, I don't trust either bullpen, quite honestly. Listen, their season ended at a 10-game losing streak. They're not getting a wild card. They're finished. Uh, but at least they show up. And like yesterday, they walked off yep. on the Reds, not quitting. They're balling out. They're playing. All right, the next game, yep. game two, Kansas City and Cleveland. Uh, game one, we told you Kansas City already won that one today, 4-3 to three in Cleveland. Game two, Marsh against Allen. Allen's 8-4. and four. Uh, I actually, you know, this morning, this uh, this thing was, they, they literally, he was a dog, minus 105 yep. this morning. And now he's up, up to, a, uh, like, at least, I'm seeing it in a lot of places, uh, minus a buck and a quarter. He's favored now. Yeah, well, hurry up, because we're not as works, uh, Scott. Usually, always, we, we look for a split uh, in these double headers, which is why a lot of people wait to bet the second game. And I'm with you. I think hurry up and bet the uh, the Guardians to bounce back with a win here in this uh, in this second game at home. Houston and Philly at the bank, Blanco and Wheeler. Philly's almost two bills. Uh, you know, I got to tell you, Blanco's tough. The Astros are tough. They win. And what do you think of their chances tonight at that price? A buck 62 or more to take Blanco in for Philadelphia. Any chance of that happening? Why not? The Astros can beat anybody. Uh, they absolutely uh, can, Scotty. Or listen, I mean, take the uh, take the run and a half. I do think the over is probably not a bad bet. But the Phillies, listen, they were supposed to go with Wheeler yesterday. They gave him an extra day's rest so he would start this game. Uh, he's also 5-0 and in his last five home starts in Philadelphia. They were in Kansas City yesterday. I get Philly being the favorite, but I do think some runs are coming in this game. All right, how about Nasty Nestor and the Yankees in D.C. against Parker and the Nats? And you see the numbers. Yankees heavy favorites here on the road in our nation's capital. Yeah, Nasty Nestor has grown a third chin uh, just while we're talking here, Scotty. Uh, hasn't missed a whole lot of meals, apparently. He also can't pitch on the road, uh, and that's another concern here. Yankees don't hit lefties very well. Uh, having said that, I do think runs are coming, so I'm going to go ahead and take the over again in this one. All right, game two, Toronto and Boston. Barrios and Chriswell at Fenway at 710 Boston favorite I'm seeing minus about 40. Yeah, and I I like Boston. I took him in the first 5, Scotty. Uh Barrios has been absolutely studly his last uh last month month and a half worth of starts. Uh you can tell the Blue Jays are a better hitting team. They also have the best record with the Yankees since the All-Star break. If it ain't broke, I ain't fixing it, Scotty. Give me Toronto. So Atlanta, Minnesota at Target. What a game tonight, Freed and uh, your boy Ober. Uh, and I got to tell you, Ober literally has had 11 consecutive good starts. I know he lost his last time out, but he still pitched well. The guy, they didn't score any runs, but he pitched deep into the game. The guy's been going, you know, six, seven innings every time he pitches, and he's literally been phenomenal for the Twins. Seven and three uh, at home in his starts uh, this year. The Twins are 2.78 ERA, and I am with you, Scotty. I I've looked for spots to back him uh, as he flew under the radar here. I love it. Uh, I believe six straight now with a uh, with a plus 25 run differential when he pitches. This team scores runs for him. In the meantime, Max Fried has not been great uh, since coming back off that little stint on the IL here. Uh, call me crazy. I like the Twins. I like their lineup much better than uh, than what Atlanta's rolling out right now. I think they're in a battle now that Cleveland just lost game one. Uh, this is a big game for Minnesota. I like them to get it done here. Yeah, I bet it this morning. And while I was mm. at it, I bet San Diego to start that series mm. in Bush. Believe it or not, I didn't care about Vasquez and Gibson, to be honest with you. Uh, all I cared about was how great I think San Diego's bats are in defense. Like I, I said, you can't you can't deny their ability to uh, have big hits, big homers, walk offs, wins. 
Uh, oh. Diving, Merrill making diving catches in center field. I, I think that team, you know, I think their defense is phenomenal beyond Merrill. I think, you know, Machado, et cetera, they're tough as hell. I think they can go into Bush and win the series, win this game. I think they can, too. They've been proven to be pretty decent on the road here. I am not a big Gibson uh, fan, so I do think that uh, the Padres should be able to get it done. And I don't mind the over either, uh, Scotty, because I do think they're going to score some runs here tonight, the Padres. So I guess the Tigers are going with a a rookie Madden uh, to face the lowly White Sox on the south side of Chicago tonight. Uh, Detroit, I'm seeing minus a buck 55 at least. You see there, minus a buck 42, uh, whatever you can get it at. Are you on Detroit here to continue the White Sox misery? Yes, um, and I don't care that it's a, they could throw you and I out there tonight to pitch against this atrocious Chicago White Sox team. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to lay the run and a half with them here, Scotty, too. Tigers are 8-1 uh, against them here on the season with a plus 26 run differential. I think that continues here tonight. I'll back the Tigers. So I have a theory that uh, every team that goes into Coors loses the first game, no matter what, even though the Rockies are hairdryer city as well. How many teams have you seen go in there like San Diego went in there, let, yep. whatever, last week, first game, they lost. Yep. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yep. It's a black hole. You go in there on the road, fly into Denver, play in the thin air, of course, you lose. I think uh, Miami will go lose that game tonight in Colorado. I uh, I agree with you because, uh, listen, the Rockies, everyone knows they can't win on the road, and they are very competitive at home here. Don't love the spot for the Marlins. I'm with you. I think uh, the Rockies uh, get it done in this first game of the series of, you know, two franchises going nowhere. Uh, so Tampa's at Seattle, and I got to tell you, I've made money uh, with Bryce Miller, uh, Seattle's pitcher. Mm-hmm. He's going tonight at home. And oh, Tampa's tougher than people give him credit for. Pepio's going for them. He's been tough, too. This is a tough game to gauge, but I like Miller at home. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I got the better bullpen in the Mariners. I do think they kind of turned the page on the season when they fired their, uh, their coach earlier. Uh, but I, I think they have an advantage here in that ballpark. And call me crazy, the total is now six and a half, Scott. Uh, I'm going to go over. I think by accident, uh, they can probably score seven runs in this game. 